Hey guys, it's Christina. As you might be able to hear, I still have the bronchitis stuff going on. Um, I've had it for about a week and a half now. Um, I would say I'm probably feeling like 75% better. Um, but you know, I still got some congestion and some cough going on and stuff like that. Um, and I'm actually going to the ENT on Tuesday for a follow-up. Um, so anyway, so I hope y'all are doing well. Um, you know, everything, I feel like everything, especially in the past week, has just been, been getting crazy, you know, with all the stores selling out of all the essentials and stuff like that. Um, but anyway, it looks like, <laughs> it looks like the one thing that everybody's going to be able to look forward to is, uh, catching up on movies and TV shows. Um, so, um, I am actually one of those people that still buys DVDs. Um, and Blu-rays. Uh, I, I tend to buy them more these days as just a backup, like in case, um, like for, for when I move in the hopefully, <laughs> hopefully not too distant future, um, you know, I mean there may be a couple of days there where, you know, my cable isn't hooked up yet and the internet's not hooked up yet, so, you know, I might, um, be watching some, some DVDs to fill my time. Um, so anyway, so I wanted to go ahead and show y'all some of the things I bought recently. Um, I really, <laughs> I've really been kind of, since December, kind of going on like a DVD buying binge. I actually went ahead and bought myself, um, a new, um, at the moment I have like one of those rotating two-sided DVD, uh, shelving units. But I went ahead and I bought myself a, um, a wall-mounted one, so I'm gonna have to see if I can get um, you know, pay some friends of mine to, to come over and hook it up for me. Um, you know, I, I can, I can kind of learn to help, you know, learn how to do that too in the process. They're, they're better, they're more, uh, <laughs> experienced at doing that than I am. Uh, let me show you. The first two things I have here are actually TV series. So the first one I have here, um, I don't even know if this is still on Amazon Prime or not, but I decided that I, I wanted a backup of it on DVD. And that is, <laughs> that is the complete series of Family Ties. Um, I have been a huge Michael J. Fox fan since, um, oh, it sounds like one of them is lucid here, actually. Um, but I have been a huge Michael J. Fox fan ever since Spin City, <laughs> back in the 90s. Um, uh, especially with TV shows of his. I, I don't, I haven't really watched that many of his movies. Um, but yeah, I love, I love Family Ties and I love Spin City, which is also another, um, TV series I recently bought to have in my collection. Um, and I also went ahead and purchased <laughs> the complete collection of ALF on DVD. Um, I have not seen this in forever. I think maybe it was on Hulu. I don't know if it still is. Um, but it was on Hulu last, I remember watching a little bit of it, and, um, you know, it's just a, it's just a fun, uh, family sitcom with an alien in it. Um, <laughs> and coincidentally, I actually just recently, I don't know if y'all remember, like, back in the day when Burger King <laughs> used to have, like, um, puppets and stuff like that, but I just recently found, <laughs> um, and I don't know if I had, um, any other ones than this. But just recently, I found <laughs> I found this uh, this Alf puppet with uh, you know he's got this really cool uh, like Hawaiian shirt you know and he's got himself some sunglasses and you know he looks like he's just ready to have some fun in the sun. <laughs> um, <laughs> so anyway, so that is pretty awesome. Um, so now let me go ahead and get to the movies I recently uh, purchased. These are a mix of um, recent ones. Um, as well as some vintage movies. And this first one I have here is actually the movie um, that uh, I was a bit reluctant to go see at the end of the year just because I'm not a huge Adam Sandler fan. Um, but I went ahead and saw it anyway, and I was pleasantly surprised. I, I don't even remember the name of the, the, the director or directors who did this one, but um, I'm going to look and see what else they've done because I'm, I'm curious. Um, so he's in this movie called Uncut Gems. Um, if I haven't mentioned it already, I'm not a huge Adam Sandler fan just because of the fact that, um, he's just, he's too silly for me. Um, <laughs> you know, I mean, I, I come from a household where, you know, my mom, uh, you know, she, um, she, she was pretty strict. She was pretty serious. So, you know, he was, he was too silly for her too. You know, a lot of stuff was even, even stuff that I would try to get her to watch, like the Big Bang Theory. 
you know, she would always tell me, Christina, I don't know why you have me watching this stuff. It's too silly. Um, but anyway, so this uh, particular movie, um, <laughs> it's, it's a, it's a, uh, it's a serious role for him. He plays this, this, you know, this scumbag jeweler that, you know, he's, he's all, all in it for himself, all, all in it for the money. Um, and anyway, so he's, uh, so yeah, he's also a gambling addict and, um, you know, he has a, he has a wife and kids, but he also has a, a you know, girl that he's, he's, uh, cheating on them with. Um, <laughs> so anyway, yeah, he, he plays a really, uh, really convincing, um, uh, character in this film. Um, and so the next one I have here to show y'all is actually a Blu-ray <clears throat> version of The Witches. Um, this is one of my favorite movies from when I was a kid. I remember when they used to show this on, uh, on HBO all the time. And, um, so I would watch it whenever it was on. Um, so the next one I have here to show y'all is another vintage movie, and it is, uh, Jurassic Park. <laughs> um, I love the original one. I've seen probably just the first three, whichever ones Jeff Goldblum is in. <laughs> um, and I've seen, I think, the last, um, Jurassic World movie. I'm not sure. But anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, I, I love this movie. I love the T-Rex, and I love the Dilophosaurus. Those are my two favorite dinosaurs. Um, if y'all are into dinosaurs, leave me a comment in the, in the comment section and let me know what your favorite dinosaur is, because I'm curious. This other one is, um, this one that I'm about to show y'all, this is a, uh, I think this is the live-action version of Beauty and the Beast. Um, I also have the animated version somewhere. <laughs> if I haven't said it, my, my DVD collection at the moment is just overflowing. Like, it's too much for the shelves that I have on it now. Um, but anyway, I was very impressed with the live-action version of Beauty and the Beast. I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm, I tend to be kind of skeptical of the live-action ones, but this one, I guess, I guess since I loved the original so much, you know, I was, I was more tempted to be on board with the fact that they did a, um, that they did a remake, and, um, you know, it was really awesome. So I'm happy to have that one, too. And this next movie is, uh, I haven't seen this in forever. This is The River Wild. Um, I haven't seen a lot of Kevin Bacon movies, but this is the movie that kind of first introduced me to him, um, back when I was a teenager, and my dad really liked this movie, too. I remember him bringing this to the, he, he was a fireman, so I remember him, he told me he brought this, the VHS of it, to the firehouse, so everybody could watch it at work, so that was really cool. Um, so yeah, I need to see more Kevin Bacon movies. That's another, <laughs> that's another thing y'all can let me know. Um, the only Kevin Bacon movies I've seen, other than The River Wild, um, I've seen Stir of Echoes, and that was, that, there's at least one scene in that movie that's a little bit too much for me, so I don't really want to revisit that movie. Um, but if there's any other, um, movies that he's in, or series, or anything like that, um, go ahead and leave me a comment and let me know what y'all would recommend. So this last one I want to show y'all, this is actually a movie that's been at the theater for several months. Um, if I'm not mistaken, it's still at my local theater doing like one or two showings a day. I mean, just a couple weeks ago, I even saw the, uh, the theater staff was still we wearing their shirts with this movie logo on it. And that is Knives Out. Um, I get the impression that this is kind of like a like a murder mystery movie, like kind of like, like that movie Clue. <laughs> um, which isn't, which, you know, I've never actually seen Clue. I've seen the trailer for it. That, that, that type of thing isn't really my jam. But anyway, since everybody has been raving about this movie, <laughs> um, I went ahead and decided to buy it. And I'm actually really glad that I put the Steelbook on hold at Best Buy. Well, I was trying to order it online at Best Buy and have it delivered. But they said in store only. So it kind of defaulted to having it be a pickup. Um, and so <laughs> it was a good thing. <coughs> it was a good thing that I picked it up when I did, um, <coughs> because, um, you know, they were sold out of all the steelbooks, they only had a few of the regular DVDs left, um, so it kind of made me feel like I had the last <laughs> possible steelbook that was in, uh, in their presence. Um, so I've also been buying some books lately, which I might also read during this quarantine thing. Um, at the moment, you know, I still have to go to work and everything, so, um, I, sometimes I read books when I'm at work. Uh, it depends on, you know, depends on how, how busy things are. I tend to go for, um, 
I tend to go for like rock star um, autobiographies um, because you know obviously in one of my in one of my fantasy lives I wish I was in a rock band um, <laughs> and um, so anyway so I love I love reading that kind of thing um, so I've been buying a lot of uh, memoirs recently of um, uh, Blondie and Alice Cooper and um, oh who else was fair um, <laughs> and um, and I'm also really into uh, oh what would you call this I don't know if it would be classified as like sociology or psychology or what it would be but um, just kind of current event type things. Um, I've bought a lot, I bought several books on the, uh, <laughs> on the, uh, that whole, uh, I don't know if y'all have heard in the news about that whole Nexium cult thing. Um, <laughs> so I went ahead and bought um, like some, some books uh, pertaining to people who have, who have gotten out of that um that circumstance and uh on a different note on a much more positive note <laughs> than that um i actually was watching somebody's youtube channel recently and they had found a vintage vintage copy of one of the wayside school books um and that reminded me that i hadn't read those books in forever i probably didn't even have <laughs> copies of those books still in my collection um so i went ahead and i repurchased those with the new cover on them and i also found out um, in that same YouTube video <clears throat> that I've been watching, that um, there's a fourth Wayside School book. So I went ahead and bought that. The name of this fourth one is uh, Wayside School Beneath the Cloud of Doom. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to, uh, to rereading the original ones um to kind of jog my memory because <laughs> i don't remember you know all the character names and stuff like that it's 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 been too long since i've read those and i also went ahead oddly enough since you know we're in this whole like quarantine self-isolation uh <laughs> what do you want to call it like social distancing thing um you know and i've been it's interesting, you know, going online and looking like looking at a lot of like these social anxiety groups and stuff like that, because people are, you know, people are kind of relieved. They're like, oh my gosh, I don't have to go outside for a change. Um, but anyway, I went ahead anyway. Um, perfect timing, right? Because there's so much stuff that's closing down nowadays. Um, but I went ahead and I bought this book, the Shyness and Social Anxiety Workbook. I just so happened to be looking around on um, Amazon. And, you know, I didn't want something that was just going to be, like, a bunch of, you know, facts that were spewed at me. I wanted to actually try to find something that was a bit more proactive. Um, so it looks like this book has a lot of, like, um, empty spaces to go ahead and write stuff in. I used to be really into that kind of stuff when I was a kid, and I just kind of got out of it. Um... You know, I really, I wasn't even aware that they made that kind of stuff for, uh, for adults. But anyway, so yeah. So, <laughs> so I am going to go ahead and start, uh, working on this. Uh, and I will let y'all know how it goes. Um, so anyway, so that's my haul video. <laughs> um, I hope y'all enjoyed this. I'm sorry that I still don't sound like I'm 100% right now. But, um, I hope y'all are taking care of yourselves, uh, wash your hands, stay home, <laughs> uh, disinfect your phone. That, that's definitely the one thing I have to get better at, is disinfecting my phone. And, um, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. If there's any particular movie that y'all want me to review, or anything like that, um, or if there's any video requests at all that y'all have, um, go ahead and leave them in the comments, and I will talk to y'all later. Bye!